Jackson Fury takes place in late war Germany, 1945. This is a very, very narrow, honest look at this one tank unit's life. This is an experienced veteran tank crew. Where's the rest of 3rd Platoon? We're it. War Daddy is the king of the Fury. Very complex character with life and humor and love for his men. Yeah. Best job I ever had. 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 Bible's the gunner and he operates the cannon. On the one! <laughs> A righteous Christian man who lives his life by the book and still will kill you if you are on the other side. Kunas <laughs> is the guy who's shoveling the ammunition into this weapon system. Fire! He's a guy who's racked with fear and has seen darkness that he never knew could possibly exist. The driver of the tank is Gordo. 350,000 Mexican-Americans served in World War II. You know, my hat goes off to um, David Ayer, who's paying homage to all the Latins that fought in World War II that were unacknowledged. Combat's a brutal, dirty business. It's incredibly taxing on the fighting man's soul. When we meet the crew, one of their own is dead. Then we get the replacement. First Sergeant Collier. I'm your new assistant driver. What is your name? Norman. He's so young and so innocent. He's got this incredibly rough introduction to the war. His first day journey is kind of like what the last four years have been for us. Do your job! Do what you're here for! If you're no goddamn good to me unless you can kill Germans. War Daddy must break him of his innocence and also learn to be an effective soldier. Put a big fat hole in his back. I can't do it! It's a story of us five guys trying to survive and trying to keep each other alive. They're exhausted, they're tired. You don't get to choose who you're in a tank with, <laughs> but you'll end up being closer with them than anybody else in the world. It's about a family under incredible stress. Every day they go towards the fight, and they're scared. What happened back there? That's every day. That's every day.